For this video, I drove southwest along I-95 from Baltimore. My plan was to visit the absolute worst Washington, D.C. hoods I could find. I had done my homework and knew I would be heading to D.C.'s Ward 8 on the southeast side of the city. The day was Sunday, February 23rd, 2020, at about 1 in the afternoon. Now, way back in 1992, Washington, D.C. was the murder capital of America, mostly because of crack. It's still rough in many areas, but it's actually getting way cleaner and far safer. That's the case with many of the other cities I've visited. Places which took hard turns in the 60s, 70s, and 80s are now seeing a bit of a good clean scrub, I guess. Nonetheless, I had to see what was left of DC's true hoods, so I ventured into Ward 8, also known as Anacostia, pretty much the only real terrible large neighborhood in our nation's capital anymore. There were blocks and blocks of housing projects here, but overall, as you'll see, it wasn't terrible. I never felt unsafe here. It was like a scrubbed down version of the ghetto hood that used to exist. Just block after block of cleaned up public housing, like somebody had taken a fire hose to the whole ward and washed away all the grime and the grit. Now this part of town and much of the southeastern and northeastern part of DC were absolutely the worst place you could live 20 years ago. But now, this whole city, including large parts across the river, are undergoing the most intense gentrification project in the nation. They're renovating large parts of the city, tearing down old, ugly buildings. Now this has meant more homeless people, for one, and many of the poorest people who once lived here have been pushed further out into the suburbs, into areas like Baltimore and to Prince George County, just across the border of Maryland, an area with the nickname Ward 9. So we're going to let this run for about 15 minutes or so, so you can see what's left of one of our nation's historical true ghetto hoods.
Now as we leave the DC area, off in the distance is the US Capitol Dome, which we saw earlier from the hillsides across the river. But before we left the area, we wanted to check out other former ghetto hoods in the DC area. This surprised us. This is the Capitol Hill neighborhood. This was once a horrible place for crime and blight. Look at it now. And we also saw the H Street Corridor in Northeast DC. This place was also very blighted and dangerous not too long ago. But look at it now. So we had come to see the dangerous hoods of DC and instead got a front row seat to a quickly changing urban revival project as grimy neighborhoods of old are being resurrected into newer, modern, safer, and wealthier neighborhoods of the future. In terms of cleaning up its shitty areas, this city is far ahead of its neighbor to the north. Baltimore's ghettos are still on another level. It might be another two decades before Baltimore makes its comeback. As Washington DC continues to lower crime and clean up its own neighborhoods, it must now battle with its next big challenge, homelessness, and keeping the liberals from taking over. But that's another video. The end. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.